Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what is going on in your connection with this person, how you feel about each other and what you can expect for the near future. As always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius 100%. So just please take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out my playlist for your sign. I have a playlist for every sign and I have a ton of videos there for you. That playlist is in the description box. So let's jump in here, Sagittarius. This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And of course, the energies can be reversed. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Sagittarius regarding love. What's going on in this connection at this time? Okay, we have tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling trapped in a situation and are looking for a way out. So both of your energies are here. So this could be you feeling this way or your person. Bottom of the deck, I have true love. The connection between you is genuine and true. So, okay. I feel like someone is trapped, stuck, burdened, um, and thinking of the person they love. Okay, so let's see what else we have. What else? For Sagittarius, what else? What else is going on in this connection? What do we need to know about this connection between Sagittarius and their person? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel like there is a divide here, a disconnect between you and this person. Someone could have gone on a trip as well as what I'm getting or left town or moved away. It's not going to be for everyone, but I'm getting that with this card for some reason. We'll see what we get with the tarot. I'm also getting whatever this stuck energy is, whatever someone is stuck in, I feel like it keeps them away from you or, or it keeps you both apart. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. For Sagittarius. What do we need to know? For Sagittarius in love. Tell me about what's going on in this connection. Going on for Sagittarius. Okay. The Sun. Judgment. Six of Swords. Yeah, I, I really feel like someone um, must have left this connection or moved away, or there's distance here. But I feel like with Judgment and the Sun, it's like there's serious clarity and awakening that someone is having here. Um, they're lit they're really waking up to something here because I'm seeing this sun as clarity. So let's see. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Ace of Pentacles. Why is uh, the sun here? The five of cups okay yes someone's getting some sort of clarity regarding the past regarding a past mistake now with judgment and the ace of pentacles i feel like um someone's realizing something here regarding a commitment an offer tell me about this judgment card can i get one more five of pentacles the magician at the bottom of the deck with the two of cups. Wow. Interesting. So I feel like this is someone that wants something here. Now with the five of pentacles, there is that distance between you. I feel like someone wants to bridge that gap. Reconnect here. Why the six of swords? Why is the six of swords here? Two of Wands. Why is the Six of Swords here? 
The tower? Jeez. This tower. This tower is what's going to help someone make something happen. Strength at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy, and then the wheel of fortune. It's, really like, it's almost like um, someone's having courage here with the magician and the strength card. Courage to make something happen. Courage to manifest. Courage to use whatever resources they have at their disposal. I feel like this tower is opening up um, a path forward here with the two of wands. This person could be wanting a second chance also, or like almost like let's try again or let's start over. I'm very serious about you. We'll see more when I look at both of your energies. Tell me about the two of wands. What's this two of wands? Four of swords. So someone's not doing this, okay. So someone's not taking action. They're thinking about this. Death and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this tower. Why is this tower here? Yeah, so someone hasn't made a decision. So the tower is here to help someone make a decision, basically, is what I'm seeing. Whoever has been kind of stuck and undecided, unsure, I feel like this tower is coming to help them make a decision. Yep, Eight of Swords. And then the Knight of Pentacles. This is this is based off of fear. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, Taurus Energy. So we'll see what, how you feel about each other. But what I'm seeing here between you and this person is someone's waking up to I guess a truth a reality of the past maybe they left a situation and they're realizing that was a mistake um, maybe they don't want to be apart from you any longer and so it's like I need to do something about this you know, and I feel like they they've been feeling like they need to do something about this for a long time, but they haven't. And so the tower is here. Something's going to happen unexpectedly. There's going to be a shake up here for someone. Um, and I say someone because both of your energies are here. And I feel like it's going to help someone finally make that decision or force them to make a decision. So let's see how you feel about each other. Sarah, tell me about Sagittarius and this other person. What are they thinking or feeling about each other, Spirit? Oh, oh. What are they thinking or feeling about the other person? Let's start with you, Sagittarius. I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's energy in this connection? We have taking action, time to make a move, movement, action, courage. Okay, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Past life, memories, past life, nostalgia. You've had a connection with this person in the past. So they're thinking of the past a lot. And I feel like you're thinking about making some sort of move here or are making some sort of move in your life or want this person to just make a move already. Some of you could have moved away or the other person moved away. I, I, I feel like that that just keeps coming up for me. Tell me more about Sagittarius. more about Sagittarius please the timing just wasn't right for us tell me about this other person that Sagittarius is dealing with I wish I had treated you better okay 
So interesting. <laughs> Oops, I just dropped like a whole card. Okay. So what I'm getting here is this person again is looking at the past and having some regrets. Now for you, I feel like, I don't know. I think you tell yourself the timing just wasn't right for us or wondering if the divine timing is at play here for you and this person and thinking, okay, well, the timing wasn't right before, but it can be again. Maybe we're meant to re, re find each other again, basically. Okay. Can I get one more, please, for Sagittarius? Nightingale, okay, and tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Can I get one more energy for them? Cosmic egg. So they're they're into this whole like world. This is like the world card. Endings, beginnings, cycles, and okay, I'm gonna be using a new deck for you guys because I just had this like desire, like yearning to use it, and I haven't used it for anybody because it's really a new deck I've, I've been working on that is not ready, you know? So I sent it back and I'm waiting for like a new, a new um, deck to come in, but I'm going to use it for you guys. Can I get some insight into this person? Sagittarius is dealing with spirit. Can I get one card please? I am removing myself from a difficult situation. bottom of the deck I stay up at night thinking of you yeah so this person thinks a lot about you about this connection they're removing themselves from a difficult situation that's probably why we had the six of swords that came up we'll see when I um when I pull the other cards here and with the cosmic egg card I'm, I'm, I mean I am just getting this energy of them really wanting a whole new cycle to begin for you and them so let's see, I'm using two different um, tarot decks, one for each of you. So let me just, let me use this one for you. Tell me about Sagittarius, Spirit, what are the energies in this connection at this time? Tell me about Sagittarius. about Sagittarius please what are their energies what are their energies ace of pentacles three of wands I feel like this is what you've been waiting for you've been waiting for an offer for something stable for something long term and now you have the nightingale i feel like you're waiting to hear from this person um i feel like you just wish this person would make that move of reaching out to you of contacting you i feel like you, you're kind of waiting for this person nine of wands yeah i think despite what's happened between you and this person i don't know it's like it's like i see you waiting for them um not giving up basically not truly giving up it's like in the back of your mind and it could be you know maybe it's not like you're going to jump in and trust this person 100 percent, or you know everything's going to be okay there's still work to be done here i am picking up like there's um a realistic energy here now we have the eight of swords and the page of wands so again it's like you have a fear of reaching out so you're kind of waiting for the other person to reach out like you don't really want to put yourself out there yeah this would be a risk for you with the fool i think you want a new beginning you know there's the knight of pentacles you're hoping this person makes an offer so that you have a new beginning but i don't think you're the one that wants to make the first move and it's like this, like waiting around, like who's going to make the first move here? Is it you? Because it's not going to be me. 
Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you want to, I mean, communication is something that you desire here. Because, but, I, but again, it's almost like, I don't know, I don't know. Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, exactly. I don't know if I should. I don't want to be the one that makes the first move. They should be the ones that make the first move. So let's look at this other person. Tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Sagittarius? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Tell me about their energy, this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Ace of Cups. Judgment came out again. Three of Swords. Six of Wands. Yeah, this person is really beating themselves up about the past. They want to come forward. I think this person is realizing that they've loved you this whole time or, you know, it's eating them up inside how much they screwed up here. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. King of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. I feel like this is more action. Yeah, Magician, King of Wands. This is them making something happen here. What's this Knight of Wands about? Temperance. There you are, Sagittarius. So they're moving towards you. Look at this energy. They're moving towards you. Very passionate, motivated, taking action, moving in, like jumping in feet first. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Four of Cups. Okay, so they're they're worried that um, they will be possibly rejected here, that you're not interested. Probably because they feel like they screwed up and they should have treated you better. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Two of Pentacles. So they're debating as well. Should I communicate? <laughs> Two of Swords after that. So you're both kind of in the same boat in the sense that neither of you wants to make the first move. Like which one of you will do it? This person I feel like might just because they're really like motivated here with the King of Wands and the Magician. It's almost like I need to do something about this. Like I, my guilt, I can't live with my guilt. Yeah, Ace of Wands. This, this person is really like focused on making something happen. We have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is like, this would be so satisfying to this person to, to have this new beginning, to manifest this, to make this happen. Um, but it's like they're debating because, you know, I think honestly part of this debate is that this would be a whole new cycle for this person. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. So it's not so easy as just opening up communication or telling you, hey, you know, I wish I had treated you better. I'm sorry about the past. Can we at least be friends and see where this goes? I feel like that's not really the problem because they need to um, start a whole new cycle here. Tell me about this two of uh, pentacles. Yep, the world, exactly what I was thinking. This is not just them telling you, you know, I care about you, you know, you were right, or I'm sorry, you know, I love you. It's not that simple. 
they have to leave something and start a new they have to end a cycle and start a new one um it could very well be that they will i think it's just they wish they had a little bit of confirmation about how you felt um because right now from what i can see here they don't think that you are interested at all or that you would be open to this you know and i don't know if you've let them know that and that's why <laughs> So let's see, where's all of this headed? Put this back here. Spirit, where's all of this headed? For Sagittarius and this person. Where's all of this headed? What's next for this connection? What's next for Sagittarius and this person? What's next for this connection spirit? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yep, Seven of Wands. So someone here is um, thinking that they will there will be resistance, that the other person won't be really open to this. Yep, and so I feel like this is kind of making them hesitate, feeling a bit stuck here, a bit burdened because they might not get what they want. Ten of Swords. One more, please, Spirit. What's next for this connection? For Sagittarius and this other person. Queen of Cups, Ten of Swords. Yep, and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is um, someone that, once again, there is an end of a cycle here. Or the ending between you is a barrier here to the future of this connection. I feel like this person's thinking about all of this. They're thinking that they love you, that they have feelings for you. But they're also thinking that this is not completely up to them. It's almost like if, if it were up to them, they would end the cycle and be with you and this would all be done and over with. But it's not up to them. And it's not so simple um, as just calling you up, basically. The Seven of Wands could also be that they need to fight some sort of obstacle, deal with some sort of obstacle, um, stand firm, have courage, um, to face whatever comes with whatever decision they make here, especially if they're ending a cycle. They're thinking about all of this. I think they're thinking a lot. Um, you know, I stay up at night thinking of you. I believe it. Um, I believe it. I feel like this person has a lot of, I don't know. It's like their mind is, they're waking up to something or, or feeling like there's something they can't ignore here. So it's not so simple as, like, you know, it's, it's just not a simple fix. And I feel like it's even worse because neither of you wants to make the first move. It's like, who's going to be the one that takes that leap of faith? Oh, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's going to be me. <laughs> so that just kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Interesting. I feel like there is um, potential here for happiness, but more than anything, this is clarity. This is that awakening that someone is having. Um, I think that's happening right now and it's going to continue in the near future because I don't think this is like when the sun is like beating in you in your face or like when you look at the sun, can you stand it? <laughs> there is, it's almost like you can't ignore the sun in your face, right? That's kind of what I'm picturing here. Like someone cannot ignore this. This is like the elephant in the room. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. I hope this resonated for you. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing so you see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.